even though it's extremely nerdy, I think one of the things I enjoy most about this game, Ball Lab, is actually that the title of the game is a palindrome, which means that it's the same forwards and backwards. Ball Lab, Ball Lab. Oh no. There is a level 60. Why is nobody complaining about level 60? Is it 10 times easier? Oh, it doesn't look 10 times easier. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let me breathe. <laughs> I'm not breathing. I don't know. Let me just look through. I mean, the first set... There's more of them. There's twice the number of pistons, but they've cut them in half. But it doesn't matter, because since there's two of... There's a double set of them, that means there's more opportunities to make mistakes. So I'm glad I got used to jumping the way the game intended to, because it looks like I'm gonna have to do that multiple times now. Ugh, criminally, this sucks. What the heck? I don't even know what happened there. I'm trying to think of the best way to get in. I'm just thinking of how to get in here consistently. Like... Oh, I guess it's that little hump that I keep getting stuck on. Oh, good grief. I hate this. You have to jump down. I really don't like this at all. Oh, it just feels weird. Wow. I'll tell you what, that shorter difference, distance definitely does ah, make a big difference. I mean, that's much easier. Only having to drag across a short distance by comparison. Okay, that's not too bad. How far has this come to the left? Okay, I can just jump on it straight up and don't have to do anything fancy. Felt like I haven't done a platform jump like that for a while. Oh, gosh darn you. <gasps> no, I didn't go quite far enough to the right. Dang it! Yeah, that is so much easier. You know, fine. Go oh, frickin' frick. I know, final last words, but... You know, maintaining the correct pace for a shorter distance, I think, you know, just kind of by logic, is easier. <sighs> I swear, I'm gonna hate myself when I make a stupid miss... Frick, frick, frick! I know, I'm gonna make a stupid mistake somewhere easy and I'm gonna be so mad. I wonder if you could rush... Nah, I think that'd be stupid, trying to rush under both of them. those no what the frick how did I screw that ah gosh darn it this really is taking everything from the past stages and throwing it into one just big mess you know jumping the rising platform and the double pistons and jumping over spikes and the hallways, and, you know, the platforms here, and... Good grief! Ooh, almost jumped too far. At least I don't have to bob and weave and worry about ceiling spikes there. And I like how it just... It doesn't actually have that blocked off, it just has a row of spikes to keep you from doing it. Like, that's kind of humorous. 
Okay, what do I have to do here? Oh, jeez, this is gonna be annoying. No, how did I get crushed? Screw you! Gosh dang it. Okay, that was just awful. Even if I make it... Wait. I just realized you don't actually have a goal at the end. It takes you somewhere off screen. Oh, I swear, game. You you better be taking me, like, out of this place. Like, that better be, you know, like... Actually, I find, just to speak comment real fast, that, long, that short hop... And in the long fall, I think just doing a regular jump instead of a speed jump is easier to control. Because you don't need to jump that far. And yes, I do speed jumps over those uh, little spike platforms, in case anybody was wondering. And definitely do speed jump on the first one and even the second one there. And then normal jumps going further. And I don't care, I do speed jumps over these. Just to try to make sure I make it. Normal jumps here, they're simple. Again, speed jumps. <sighs> Even if I make it past the first one, I gotta get past the second one too. Oh, and, oh, that is, that is a low blow. Cause there, you can jump and hold left and not worry about it. There, you have to control yourself because there's a spike wall right after that. So you can't... You have to control yourself. Oh, frick off. No! Oh, I'm getting mad. Because I was trying... Uh, whatever game. You're really starting to cheese me off. Where I only have two more of those to get through, ultimately. And they're half as long, so they shouldn't be too bad. You've... Oh, I'm getting mad. Like, yes, I am happy about getting past level 59, but... Oh. What's it matter when you still have another obstacle to overcome? And it's annoying! <laughs> Victories can be very short-lived in video games, I will mention this. <laughs> I mean, anybody who's played multiplayer game and they have an incredible round. They don't just put the game up at that point, they keep playing. <sighs> you know, many games don't really... It's not that many games don't have an end or an accomplishment, but... For frick's sakes. Gosh dang it, I knew I screwed that up. I, I didn't go fast enough. Whoa. But if you really like a game, even if you've beaten it 20 times of four, and there's not a reason to keep playing, that doesn't mean you won't play it again. I knew that was screwed up. I knew that was screwed up. And your objective each time might keep changing. Oh, for f I mean, for instance, that's kind of what speedrunners do. They keep beating the same game over and over again. 
and each time they're trying to get better better times you know uh, get better practice at really difficult tricks and make until they can get different parts consistently and then maybe even figure out new strategies or new glitches new time saving Unless it's one of those rare cases where it's the flawless run, you can't save any more time. There's no way to shave off any more time. Delkin's. Fuck! Oh, stop getting stuck! They'll continue to play the game. And, you know, at some point, you know, you do hit kind of like an exhaustion period where it's like, okay, I've. I have peaked. So even if it's possible to save more time or get better at this game, I'm not going to keep playing. I just don't have the patience or the persistence to do speedrunning myself. I'd get so tired and bored of playing the same game that much. Or how to put it. I've played some games a really long time, but that's been, you know, like, in those long exploration open world style games usually. Okay. So... Yes! <laughs> oh, I thought I might have it. That's why I stopped talking. Oh, victory is sweet! Yes! Oh. Just to complete my thought, all I was going to say was, it's one thing to put a ton of time into a game that has a ton of content, plenty of stuff for you to do, even if it's repetitive. But it's one thing to keep playing the same game with a truncated experience and replaying those same experiences ad hoc so you get rote muscle memory. I just couldn't do that. Even this game. You know, I was getting frustrated. I did beat it, but I couldn't go through with it and like, I'm going to speedrun this game. It's like, no way. Forget that. But I am totally pumped. Whew. I didn't even, I, I was like, okay, cool. I made past the first one. I figured that second one was going to kill me, no question. But, yes! Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm really happy. I was hoping I'd get it knocked out in this recording session. Definitely did it. And I think I beat this entire game, you know, uh, First playthrough, I would say mostly blind. I did look a little bit just to see what was coming up, but you know, I had no way of practicing or anything. But less than 500 deaths. I'm pretty, yeah, I mean, I know people could do better than that and they could speed run this game and they could make me look like an amateur. I get that, you know, totally. And uh, another point is, but that is, but I'm still happy and I still feel accomplished. And I will mention, even though I may not maintain constant communication, it's a different thing to do it during a let's play, I think. But you know, I I don't know. I haven't been doing them that long, so who knows? <coughs> but the other thing is. This is always true for these games, but if I were to take out the deaths where it's like, oh, I didn't die, I died all of a sudden, I didn't know I was gonna die, I'm holding left or right, die, die, die. Or just boneheaded, absolutely could have avoided, no question. You know, that would have been so many fewer deaths, but you know, that's, that's just, that's not exactly excuse making, but that's, who cares? 
But honestly, there's an achievement for getting 5,000 deaths in this game. And I did mention earlier that there's a save where you can get all the achievements automatically. But even though I've got the video footage, even though it's gonna be on my channel, it's like, no way, I'm not gonna sully my experience now. You know, downloading this, when I all I have to do is kill myself uh, 4,600 more times. <laughs> what I'll probably do is I'll look for a stage where I just go immediately left or right, and you know, just I'm gonna, I'm curious. Oh, you can wait, 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 wait. How? I'm curious now. Like, does this take me to stage seven? Yes. Huh. Oh, you can't do this. Sorry. Um. I guess I'll have to end the recording. I, I don't think I'll do this on camera. I mean, nobody wants to see me just do this for X number of times. So, I'll see you around later, folks. That's the end of this project. Uh, I guess I'll just wrap up final thoughts. I definitely levied a variety of criticisms. I shared a variety of different thoughts. I think my biggest criticism of this game, you know, aside from what could be seen as personal preferences, would be the laugh out loud stages in like the 20s or the whatever uh, stage range that was. That was just stupid. That was just juvenile. I don't think it's necessarily the smartest thing to do. Because I don't know why you'd want to turn off people who would otherwise want to keep playing through the game and deal with a legitimate challenge with something that's kind of trolly and meme-ish and just kind of annoying and stupid. It's like, just let me know the right way to go. You know, don't, you know, don't, uh, don't chain me down and then point and laugh at me because, ha ha ha, you made a mistake, ha ha ha. Really? Um, I think the music's fine. The controls, I think they were good. The level balancing, again, I hit some snags. I got through some parts easier than others. I think it was pretty good overall. <sighs> yeah, it's certainly, comp uh, everything is certainly well within the realms of reason. <coughs> and I was gonna mention at one point the idea of how the graphics, if the game would play differently if it had a full color spectrum, if it had more vibrancy of color to it. Would that make it just more distracting? Would that be helpful or hurtful? I have no idea. But again, it, you know, it's fine as it is. Kind of bland, but at least it's not distracting. But anyways, hope you enjoyed folks. I'll see you around next time, and as always, Fruit and Doggy! Even though it's extremely nerdy, I think one of the things I enjoy most about this game, Ball Lab, is actually that the title of the game is a palindrome, which means that it's the same forwards and backwards. Ball Lab, Ball Lab.